order of operation word problems are some of the most tricky things for students. I always tell people to try to visualize it and think about what the question's asking. So this first question, it says Ryan has exactly nine days to read two books. If his first book was 176 pages and his second book is 376 pages, how many pages should Ryan read a day to finish both books? So you got Ryan. He's happy because he, li he likes to read. His first book is 176 pages long. And his second book is 376 pages long. And he has to read both of those books in nine days. Now, what I would like tell you to do is I would figure out how many pages both of those books would be together. So I would say, okay, 176 plus 376. 6 plus 6 is 12. 1 plus 7 plus 7 is, well, 7 plus 7 is 14 plus 1 is 15. Carry the 1. And 1 plus 1 plus 3 is 5. So that means, in all, Ryan has to read 552 pages. Now, if you remember back to the first part, is he has exactly nine days to read both those books. So if he has nine days to do it, he's splitting apart 552 pages into nine days. You're not subtracting nine days from it because it's 552 pages and he has nine days. How much does he have to read in per day to finish his book? So this division problem is going to be set up like a long division. Five fifty. I should probably give myself more space. 552 divided by the 9 days. How many times can 9 go into 5? It can't. How many times can 9 go into 55? It can go in there. How many times is that? 5 is 45. 6 is 54. 1. 2. How many times can 9 go into 12? It can go in there 1 time. I want to say because 1 times 12 is 9, is 3. So if I was to do a 552 divided by 9, that's 61 with the remainder of 3. Well, you can't really have a remainder of 3 pages. You have to just say that Ryan has to read at least 62 pages per day. Now, on the last day, he might only have to read like you know, 50 or something, because you can't really read like a decimal of a page. So how many pages does he need to read a day? He needs to read 62 pages per day to make that work. Now this one, Gerald goes in a store to buy video games. Gerald's happy. He's buying video games. He bought three games that were $50 a piece. So he has this game, this game, and this game, and they were all $50 a piece. I could do the quick addition and say, okay, on these games, he spent 150 bucks, And he bought another game that was $64. If he walked into the store with $300, how much money is he going to have left? So i got to figure out how much is this $150 plus this $64 to figure out how much money he spent. 150 plus 64, because I'm trying to figure out how much money he spent on all the games. Four. Oh, sorry. Four. Six plus five is 11. So the games, if I was to total up all the games, all of these games cost $214. And Ryan, <clears throat> we know he has enough money because he goes up to the register and he has $300 in his hand. And the question is, how much does he have left over? To figure out how much he has left over, I'm going to have to subtract 300 minus 214. Borrow that 0 becomes a 10. A 10 becomes a 9. This 10 becomes a 10. 10 minus 4 is 6. 9 minus 1 is 8. 2 minus 2 is nothing. So that means that afterwards, Ryan is going to walk out of the store with 
three games, and he's going to have $86 left in his pocket. Sometimes on these word problems for Board of Operations, it's best to kind of draw visuals, think about what the question is asking, and then really analyze it and say, okay, this is how I need to set it up. Those are two great examples of how to do order of operations.